Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today, we're going to make an envelope fold-out junk journal. But first, let's have our shout-out to Lynette, Lori, May, Bella Nicole Journal Company, and Annie. I appreciate each and every one of you. Oh my goodness, isn't this gorgeous? Now, this, sorry, that was my printer. It's uh, calibrating. Sorry about that. These papers, every single paper in here, except for a few journaling pages, are from Chapter 1 Papers, and their kit is the Peak Bouquet. Absolutely gorgeous. I've got a little dangle here. I've got some labels. Sorry Silk from Crimson Heart Studios. A little bling. Some lace right here. On the back, it's just like this. I used one of their larger labels to anchor the sari in place. So the sari silk is permanent and it, you know, you're not going to lose your closure. Now this little journal is six and a half by a little, little over four, just a smidgen over four. Let's look inside. Open it up just like this and it folds out just like that and we have a large pocket right here. A little more lace, some bling and a label and in here we have a lovely journaling page that we can journal on. I love the color. The color is so scrumptious. It fits just right inside here. Right over here, we've got a little bit more lace and a label, a window right here from our junk mail. Yes, we're going to use junk mail for this. I've got some more lace and a little bit of satin ribbon there. Opening it up further, it looks just like this. And we've got a little swing a tag flip, I guess, but it swings. A swing flip. <laughs> okay. And you've got papers there that you can journal on, and it just tucks right underneath a label, just like that. We have a few pages that you can journal on. So this is a piece of ephemera from the kit that I just folded in half, and just added a couple of pages in here. I did sew it, hand sew it into the, the envelope, and on this side, we have a center and in the center we have a nice pocket right here a little bit of lace some ribbon and some bling oh i think that just looks so beautiful and then we have two of the journaling cards that come with the kit so pretty now i made this with only two envelopes you guys just two envelopes and we can make this and yours will turn out just as beautiful whether you use chapter one papers or whether you use book page or you could use paper pad you could use whatever it is that you like to use or that you have on hand so let's begin so i have two envelopes here actually i have three but <clears throat> Here's one right here. It's very, very large. You could use a super large one if you want. Or you could use one that's more of a standard size mailer. And then I have a smaller envelope right here. Now, these two are junk mail. This one is not junk mail. So, I'm not sure if I want to use this large one and do something different or stick with this size right here. It's all up to you. So this one has a much larger window than this or even my example that I showed you. I'm still trying to decide what do I want to use. Let's go ahead and stick with this size right here. So we're going to cut this one down lengthwise. We're going to make it shorter. So I'm going to make it six and a half inches long, just like that. That will enable you to put it as an add-on to a journal if you'd like, or maybe just 
I just find it to be a little bit more manageable size. So there we are, we've cut that down. Now this envelope right here is six and a half by a little over three and a half. And we're gonna just pop that right on just like that. But before we do that, I'm gonna bring in my larger guillotine. You can hear me banging around over here. And I'm going to open up the envelope. I'm going to open up this end and I'm going to open up this end. I want it to actually come completely open like that. So just by taking a sliver of the envelope, maybe a little more than that, that was truly a sliver, and then I'm going to need to open up the side just like that. So now it opens up just like this and that's what we're going to need. I'm going to put this over here and you can see it's kind of um didn't get glued down very well when they were making this envelope so we're going to go ahead and glue this down because we're just going to need to do that and there we go i don't know it kind of got gooped up there for a second we just had to get it to uh to un clog. It, it, it clogged a little bit. <laughs> I'm using my art glitter glue. I'm looking to see, do I have any more pieces that are coming up? Yeah, that, this one. Let's do that. And look on the back. What's happening on the back? On the back is pretty well, no, right here. We've got a little bit right here. Let's get that down. Alrighty. Now what I want to do is I want to actually put it together first. So there's a whole lot of things that you can do. You could make it go like this, which this is how I made it. I made the one that I showed you the example. It's made this way. Or you could put it the other way if you want it to go the other way, like this. And open it up this way. I want it to go this way. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to take my flap of my envelope and I'm going to stick it right in the back, just like that. And we're going to have it just like this. But before I glue this on here, what I want to do is I want to open my envelope up. I'm going to take where it's uh, folded, the flap is folded. I'll highlight it so you can see it just a little bit better. And I want to lay the fold on one of my grid marks. And I'm simply going to mark a half an inch, just like that. I'm going to get my ruler. I'm going to draw it all the way across, half an inch all the way across here and here. So we've drawn it here and here. And then I'm going to take my scissors, and I've got my scissors here, and I find it easier if you first cut it here along the side and then you're kind of able to get your scissors in there and cut this little piece out. So I'm going to do the exact same thing over here and I'm going to cut it on the side first and then I'm going to cut this piece out. I want my pocket to be um, further down from my fold. It just makes it easier to get things in and out of it. So I've got my envelope that we've just cut these pieces out. I've got it open. This is my piece of junk mail. We opened it up. So right here on the back, so your window's over here. You've got your solid piece here. We're going to glue our envelope flap onto the back of our junk mail. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my glue directly onto my flap, just like this. Okay, and I'm going to Glue it on. 
I'm going to also kind of pay attention to how close I put it. It's just really a smidgen away. You can see because I highlighted it. It's not quite exactly on the crease. And that way it just doesn't buckle. buckle. It just lays nicely, nice and flat. All right, you guys, this is our base. The next thing we want to do, we want to figure out what are we going to put in our window. That's a pretty big piece right there. Now, in this kit, it has so many beautiful pieces. And I'm looking at this one right here. I think that would be lovely. I think the actual tags that we get in the kit are not white enough. Okay, I printed out quite a few things here, guys. These are the nice long ones that we're going to use for our flip. And, oh my goodness, isn't that a gorgeous red and pink color? So beautiful. And then this one here, I find this one to be one of my all-time favorites. There's something about it. I just find it to be so adorable. And then there's this one. Oh my goodness, there's so many beautiful pieces here. Uh, these are all the same. Then here is that beautiful, I think it's a ledger. Yeah, do you hear my little dog chirping? <laughs> She's chirping. I think uh, my husband must have gone to bed and she got left. <laughs> so I have to probably go rescue her. These are beautiful. Oh, look at that one. The green with the pink. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, that one goes with this one. So what I'm looking at is this right here. I'm thinking that this would be gorgeous in my window. Look at that, you guys. That would be really pretty. So let's go ahead and let's put this piece, this piece of ephemera, into the window. I'm going to go see if I can put my little, my little dog to bed, and I'll be right back. All right, so I have cut out this piece of ephemera, and let's go ahead and let's glue it right on here. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm just looking at this. I'm moving it way over. I'm not, um, I'm gonna put my glue, and I am using my art glitter glue, and I'm just putting it around the window. And once again, I'm just looking. That's going to go all the way to the top here, but I don't think. I might have put too much glue on there. I'm going to lay this down on my mat, and I'm going to position this exactly where I want it to go, just like, like this. And then just pressing it down, gluing it on there. My envelope right here, the window, has a little bit of a rip, but it's not gonna, it's really not gonna matter. I've got quite a bit of glue because I think I, <laughs> I put glue where I didn't need to put glue, but that's okay. We can just wipe it off. It'll dry in just a second. So we have picked our picture and put it on now. It's going to be a permanent picture in the window. We're not going to have a pocket right there. It's going to always be showing your little picture. So just trimming this up just a little bit more. I'm going to save that nice little scrap. Now what I want to do is I want to decide what do I want for my inside? This is the inside. And what I want it to do is, I think I'm going to, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I could go ahead and use one whole sheet for the inside. Now let's see. There's that one, that one's gorgeous. They're all so beautiful. There's that, uh, this one, which I used on the outside of my example. There's this one. Oh, 
Don't you just fall in love with that when you just look at that? That's just so beautiful. All right, I think I'd like to use this. Now what I'm going to do, let's, let's go ahead and decide what we're going to use on the front too. So this is the inside. There's this. That would be really sweet. I need to trim my borders off of my papers. I just haven't done it yet. And oh, here's that beautiful red. Maybe we want red on the outside. Yeah, okay, we use these two right here. I'm going to go ahead and we'll trim the borders off and then we're going to put them in. All right, when I said put them in, I was thinking about this pocket. So that's what I meant by put them in. So we're going to put this page in and we are going to put it in the pocket. And we're going to use this whole page. So what I want to do is I'm going to turn this over like this. And I'm actually going to kind of put it towards the end here. I'm going to just mark my paper by tracing, whoa, <laughs> tracing my envelope like that. And then I'm going to bring in my guillotine, my big one, and I'm going to trim this on the, a little bit more than what I marked because it needs to fit inside the pocket of that envelope. So here we are. We're just uh... now let's see if it fits in the pocket of the envelope. Let's see that beautiful piece right there. Turn this over. I'm gonna make sure there. I want to make sure my words are right side up. And this is the way it's gonna go. Perfect, you guys. Look at that. Went right in. So I'm simply going to glue this down just like that. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Now, I do think I want to glue this down just like this. Now, there's where our picture was that we chose, a piece of ephemera that we chose. I'm not going to put glue everywhere yet because I want to make sure I fold it where my envelopes fold and sometimes I find it difficult to fold it once the page gets in and I can't really see what's going on anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to fold it there, that's where that folds, and I'm going to fold this one does this one fold? It folds right here. There we go. Okay, so now we've got our page that we just glued in there, or kind of glued in there, used to what we're going to do, where we're going to fold it. So, putting, making sure I put glue on either side of the crease. And I think that's where um, it keeps it from getting all puckery if I, uh, I need to make sure I get it on either side of that. And I'm going to put some in here, just like that. And then this is going to go in here. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe this wasn't the easiest way to do it. Oh, yeah. It's fine. It just was giving me a little bit of trouble there in the beginning. I'm looking for a wipe. Got some glue on my fingers. And I'm just going to wipe this down. How gorgeous is that? That is beautiful. So beautiful. All right, now let's do the front. So we've already covered up our picture, the piece that we put in. Now we're going to end up covering up our flap of our envelope. And I'm going to take it all the way to the edge of my window here. 
before I do that, I'm going to take my sponge that has my frayed burlap on it, and I'm just going to run it around like this. just to um, catch any uh, part of the envelope that I maybe don't get covered up in the window because the window is curved and it's not like square. So yeah, that's going to be absolutely beautiful. I'm going to do the exact same thing even though that kind of looked like it wasn't a good idea. It really does help me by telling my paper that I want to fold it. So I'm just going to put one line of glue here. I'm going to get my beautiful page. doesn't matter which way it goes. There's really no right or wrong to this paper. And I'm going to place it right up against the window. Smooth it out here. Wipe up all the extra glue that seeps out. And I'm going to crease it. Now this one folds this way. I just dropped my um, my ruler that I really want because I want to put it right here. So I'm putting it right up to the, the fold that we folded our other paper. And just pressing that on there like that. Oh, well, that's a little crooked, it looks. Looks like something's gone astray. Okay. Now this one's going to fold here. Like that. And this is going to fold right on here like that. So I'm just trying to give my paper an idea. It's kind of like scoring, but it's just flat out. <laughs> I'm folding it. I'm not even scoring it. I am folding it. Now I can put some glue. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue underneath because I'm going to make sure I get that folded area. And adding more glue here. I like putting my papers on in big pieces like this. You know, um, collaging an envelope is fun, but sometimes in a video it's just a little bit much. So putting things on in with large pages not only is beautiful, but it does make your process go a lot quicker. It really does speeds up things. All right, so we've got that on there like this. I'm not going to fold this up like this because this is going to be a pocket. It already is a pocket, but we're going to cover it up and make a nice pocket out of that, a nice big pocket. Trimming off my extras here. And a nice trim. Now what paper do we want to use for our pocket? That's something that we haven't decided yet. There's our inside. Now here is our outside. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. I've got some more pieces here in case we want to use those. I've got or we've got this. This I think this would be beautiful. Sorry guys, I should have trimmed this out. But, you know, I'm making this the night before my video because I spent so much time with family today that I didn't have time to um, get to my video as quickly as I normally do. So, where's this folded at? This folds right here. I do need to know that. Yep, it's folding perfectly. I really think adding that glue right there at the fold is very important. It's it, The reason why I'm hesitating is this 
this I need something heavier down here that to me is too light but let's pop it right here on the edge and there's one more thing I need to check it's coming awfully close to this fold line so what I want to do before we go any further yeah it's not even straight see how my this was our um, junk mail envelope so I'm going to take it down I'm gonna first of all I'm gonna straighten it out for one thing and second I want it to be a little shorter uh, this way to be able to easily close this because you know we're going to put ephemera in here we're going to put a few journaling pages and it's going to get a little bit you know it's not going to be super bulky because you know it's not super bulky or anything like that but it needs to lay nice and flat so because this is still pretty wet I am going to use my regular scissors instead of my guillotine guillotine and wet pages equal chewing and ripping of your paper I don't want that to happen so just trim that off now let's look see it fits into this fold so much better why does it look crooked let me look fold this here oh it does look crooked doesn't it why does that look crooked I thought <laughs> just measured it yeah there you go Kathy measuring it and you know what you think <laughs> what you think is straight okay we're gonna try that again guys and if it's crooked this time we're not gonna cut any more off but I I do want to oh that does look better that looks much better okay goodness gracious that's gorgeous that is absolutely beautiful all right we're going to put this right here on the edge just like this so I actually think we should do it on this side and because I cut this by hand I'm sure that's not straight so I'm going to straighten it up there straighten that up and then let's pop it on right here by adding our glue directly onto our envelope okay keep going off of my envelope <laughs> and just laying this right on pretty simple there uh, took it right off because I want to make sure I'm as straight as possible with that there's some kind of little fly or not a fly but a little mat I wanted to get it before it caused problem with the video just trimming it out like that and this all right that's really pretty let's look at our pieces of ephemera we've got some beautiful pieces of um, tags and sometimes you can use a tag as part of your collaging I'm kind of looking at this one right here. I'm not sure, guys, but I'm going to just trim this out to show you what I'm talking about. We can use this in our collage. Maybe not quite that one, but I'm over here. That's the same one. There are some really tall, slender ones in here. Here they are. Tall, slender ones. Ooh, 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 ooh. That one's beautiful. And I love this strip right here. Okay. 
Alrighty, let's get this one in a place where we can use it. Moving all the pieces away. Yeah, that's gorgeous. All right, let's glue that right on there, just like that. Okay. Do I want it to go inside or do I want it to go? Nope. I want it to go all the way across. And I'm going to try to take that. I'm going to make the window squared up instead of rounded. I'm going to take that round out of that window, the round part right here. I'm going to square it up just a little bit by doing this, okay, and then trimming it, just like that, gorgeous. Now, I don't know do we want? I don't think we want the same thing, but there's this one. Nope, don't want that either. Where's that green piece? Right here. Let me put a little bit of this green. You guys, I really wish I had, oh wait, 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 wait. We have a little piece left from the inside. Yeah. That's it, right there. That's gorgeous. Okay, do we want to go all the way across, maybe this way? I'm going to bring in my little guillotine. And I'm going to trim this here. Because I think that's probably, I don't think I cut it too short. Let's move these pieces away so we can see what we're doing. And I want it to go like that, but I think I want it to go the other way. Maybe, maybe I just want it to go all the way across. That won't pop. I'm trying to figure out, do I really want to do that? Okay, let's do that. Let's go all the way across. Once again, I'm taking that corner out of the window by simply bringing my paper down a little further and that will bring the window to a corner, to a point, making it square. Square off your window. All right, and then trimming. Now, we're onto our pocket on the inside. Oh goodness, that is so pretty. Okay, into our pocket on the inside. What are we going to do for our pocket? That's gorgeous with it. We haven't used that yet. We could use the, um, do I have another one of those dark, oh, we haven't used this. That's an idea. That's what I use for the, for inside the pocket, um, on my example. I don't know if I have any more of that dark red. I'm thinking I don't. No. Yes, I do. I have one more dark red one. You want to do the dark red in the inside since the outside is pretty bold like that. But, you know, that would be, so it's this way, and then we would see this inside. Yeah. That's, that would be very, very beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking this paper right here, and I'm going to turn it over this way. I'm going to line up the edge, and I'm going to roll this over, and I'm going to fold it. And I'm going to fold it. Oh, what is this? This is maybe about a good, uh, what, half an inch, a good half an inch. I'm going to take my art glitter glue and I'm going to glue this down. 
I didn't even trim off that piece because we're not going to see it, okay? Just save time and not trimming it off. I'm going to, we're going to glue this right on here like this. Oh my goodness, that's going to look absolutely breathtakingly gorgeous. Now, because I'm going to end up inking all of my papers, I am going to ink this right here. Just like that. And I'm going to ink this right here. Just, just in case um, somehow it peeks through. It's, you can see it. I don't know how that would happen, but <laughs> I'm just going to do it. And I'm going to do this here like this. Okay. And then I'm going to glue this right on there just like that. So to do that, I'm going to take Mark Glitter Glue and I'm simply going to lay the glue right on to the envelope itself, following it around and then the sides like this. And you're not filling it in, guys, because it is a pocket. Well, yes, you are filling it in because it's already a pocket, Kathy. <laughs> you silly goose. Okay, you are going to put the glue everywhere. I had a moment there, guys. Okay, I t you know I get easily confused, so I had a moment where I confused myself. But that was quickly realized, and I pulled out of it. <laughs> okay. So laying our piece on, easy peasy, very, very simple, trimming it out. The reason why I folded that over was so that it will be sturdier. So when you're getting in and out of that pocket, you're not going to rip anything because this is just coffee white paper. And you see, I didn't even coffee dye the back of it, guys. So, just like that. It's upside down. It goes like this. Oh, my stars. That is absolutely gorgeous. That's our pocket. It's going to go just like this. We open it up. Mm, breathtakingly beautiful. Now, let's talk about putting our... Right here. Where are we? So right here. We're going to need a pocket. And we can use one of the tags in the journal, in the kit. I'm looking for one that we've already chopped on. Oh, sure. can't find it right now. One that we've already chopped on. Somewhere we got this. Here it is. Right here. We've already cut <coughs> that page up. So that's where we got this one from. Oh, that one's pretty. This one's pretty too. Well, they're all beautiful. I'm just looking at it as a pocket. We're going to pop it down as a pocket. So trimming it and then seeing if we like it as a pocket. It goes right here. Maybe we want this one. I think I'm thinking we want this one because it's it's not as busy. Uh, there's a lot going on here. We've got a lot of um, decoration, movement, a lot of movement going on. So I think that because of the movement, it's going to look best if we pop this one on as our pocket. You see what I mean by movement? It just kind of calms the waters a little bit. What I want to do is I want to mark it right here where the where it's going to fold and I'm going to mark it inside that. I don't want my pocket to be um, perfect, uh, perfectly lined up with the folds. I want it to be just a little inside of the folds. I don't want it to bind in any way. And it's a nice way to use some of those beautiful tags. I'm going to ink this up because, well, that's just what I do. <laughs> and <clears throat> then we're going to bring this back like this. And there it's going to fit right in here. Let's see if it fits in there nicely. 
it fits in there a little too short, actually. A little too short. Oh, it's going to be fine. Too short or not, we're going to use it. I'm going to just ink that up just a little bit. Okay. I probably could have gone with it just a little longer. But actually, it's not bad at all. Okay, three sides. Just three sides to, to the glue. Because we're making a pocket out of this piece of tag. Now this one is on a piece of cardstock. This tag, I did print the tags on cardstock. So this is firmer. We don't have to, you know, turn that down. We made that so much stronger right there. Oh goodness, that is gorgeous. Now where are the rest of those? Here they are. So we've got this one. And we've got this one. Maybe we want these two that are less going on stuck in there. You could stick all three of them in there. There's no reason why you can't use all of them. Of course, you know I would have inked it up. Ink a, ink a month. Ink them up. <laughs> ah, you can tell I'm getting a little tired. Okay. All right. I'm thinking I want these, yeah, I want those two in there, just like that. Now, inside our pocket right here, this is absolutely gorgeous inside there. So just quickly trimming this out. Now, you could rip it with a tear ruler. That would be beautiful, ripped with a tear ruler. This color is gorgeous, just gorgeous. I'm hoping it come, it's coming across in the, the video because it is so pretty. I'm going to fold this over. See, I didn't coffee dye this page where I normally would have, but like I said, I spent so much time with family today that I didn't get that done. Now in my example, I just inked it up. I'm folding this so that I can get this popped in. Even if it sticks up a little bit out of the pocket. Oh, isn't that beautiful? See, it's gonna go closed easily because we took that pocket down. We didn't have it butted right up against the fold. Right over here we're going to make a beautiful flip. Which one of these tall or long tags do we want? That's going to fit perfectly right in there. I'm thinking maybe this one. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm thinking this one will be beautiful. Now, if we have to make this just a tad shorter, yeah, just a, just a tiny bit. It's not going to cause any problem at all to make it a little shorter. Oh, that's going to be gorgeous. All right, I don't like the reflection that's giving me. I have a piece of coffee dyed paper here somewhere. Um, oh sure, where did I put it? Okay, let me grab another one. Hang on just a second, or find the one that I don't know, I can't see right now. All right, I have a piece of coffee dyed paper right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it the long way. And then I'm going to fold it again. Like that. Giving it a good crease. Then I'm going to bring in my guillotine and I'm going to chop 
chop strips. I will. I just folded it so I could get the strips fairly correct as far as size wise. And I'm going to do that. So now we have four strips. Oh, they're not quite small enough. That's okay. We'll put these back together like this. And we will mark them. Just like that. And we're going to mark them here. We're going to mark them here. And we're going to pop them right back in to our guillotine. So now these should fit right into our tag, and it surely will. Gorgeous, perfect. I'm going to do that like that. Now, I'm going to actually round the corners, and I don't know if they'll do all of those or not. Oh, it did. <laughs> Okay, I just think it might look a little nicer. Okay. I'm bring this back in. I think, now I didn't do this in my first one, but I think I'm going to grab some of the, these scraps. And where have these scraps gone to? Here's a scrap. Let's get a scrap. Fold this in half like this. I'm going to pop. I'm folding it in half because I needed it to cut. And I didn't think that would cut with just one layer. I'm going to use this as my, I don't know what to call it. Uh, like my, mm, I still don't know what to call it. <laughs> hole saver. There's the word, guys. I found it. Hole saver. There. That's going to be my hole saver. I forgot to twist my hole punch, so now I've got a little dangle. All right, now I'm going to paper clip this, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really oh, I'm getting pretty tired. Okay, like this. Now I'm going to glue this on in the center. So I'm going to find the, the center right here. We're going to glue this right off. We're going to with this. Okay. And then we're going to pop it right here, about right there. Okay. And you know, because I like it to ink, and I've already inked this project, I need to not ink this. I need to ink it so it all looks good together. Okay, now I'm going to take my, I'm going to get my dish over here, guys. I'm going to get my small little hole punch, little tiny one. I'm going to punch right where I was before, all the way through all of them. I'm hoping I can do this. Yeah, I'm going to turn it. That way I won't get that little dangly piece. I'm going to get my brad. I'm going to stick my brad here and I'm going to open my brad up. Just like that. And then I'm going to glue the back piece of my flip book that we made or 
not really, it could be a flip book or it's a twist book. I'm going to, I think I need to, well, I could use this. I thought maybe I need to use my hot glue, but I'm thinking I could probably use this. I'm going to put my glue, this is my art glitter glue, and I'm going to place it on the back, just like that. And then we're going to pop this in the center. like this. Oh, how gorgeous. Now, we're going to need to hold this in place. And we're going to hold it in place by using a piece from the kit. And this one's wider. One of these labels is wider than the other. I'm going to use the wider one, and I'm going to, I'm looking for my sponge. I'm going to ink it up, and I'm going to use this label to hold this in place, okay? And then, you know, you can just flip it this way, twist it, it's kind of like a twist, journal in it, or you could flip it up, and then this is going to keep it from flapping. Now this is your fold. Your fold is right here. So we're going to put it so it's not going to interfere with folding. And we're only going to add a little bit of glue, guys. Just a little bit there. And I think I'm going to put it right here. I'm just kind of putting it above where the top of the pocket is, right here of the next section. Look at there. Isn't that perfect? That's perfect. Now, we need to, so it goes like this, and it goes like this. Now, we're going to need to put our closure on. Now, we have not decorated in any way here. And I'm looking on the front of this. Now, <clears throat> it's going to be, I'm grabbing our little piece here. <clears throat> I've got lace here. We've got a little piece that we made from the paper and our punch, a little dangle. But the sari is really the, uh, the key right here. We use some of the labels to do a little decoration at the top. And what page is that from? I'm looking for the page that that's from so I can show you where I got that from. But I don't know where I got it from. Um, where did I get that? Oh, here's the hexagon. Here's the hexagon one, but I don't know what page that's from. Because I chopped it all up, you guys. I'm over here in all my pages. And I'm just kind of looking to see where I might have used them all. here. It's this one. It's this page. And this, oh, this is where we got this from. It came out of right here on this page. So we want this one, and I want this hexagon one for sure. And I want this one to go on the back to hold our sari silk in place. This one right here, holding our sari silk. Oh, we haven't put our pages in at all. Oh my goodness, you guys. We haven't even put our pages in. Remember our signature? I use this for the signature. So I'm just trimming this out, guys. Okay. Or the signature. All right, we're going to need this for the signature. We're going to need this for the back to hold the sari. We're going to need this one for the front decoration. Okay. Like that. 
and we need the this one, two, three, six, eight sided, yeah. There we go. Got it. Perfect. Now I'm going to just clean off our area here. We're going to, we really need to put some lace on here, guys. Um, how late is this? This is getting to be a video, isn't it? But we need to finish this. So inking a little bit right here. And, oh, please don't tell me. Okay, good. Here it is. Here this is. Let's get this on the front. But I really should put the lace on there. So what I did was I got this lace that's right here. It looks just like that. And I glued it on just like that. So I'm going to bring in my hot glue gun. I'm going to pop it right here. And I'm going to turn this this way. And I'm going to glue the center part of this spine. I guess it's the spine of the lace. That spine is going to go right on the edge. And I'm going to just use a little bit of glue at a time and lay this down right on the spine because I want the other half of the lace to show on the front. So we've got half of the lace on the inside and the other half is on, it's going to show on the outside. Okay. Simply place that on there like that. I'm going to trim this off. Oh, that's a very pretty color on there. Oh, that's so pretty. Now, I switched to another color of lace. I'm looking for a paper clip to hold this closed. I switched to a different lace that was this one right here. This one. And I actually cut it so that I only used part of it. So I'm going to cut this. Is that long enough now? Yeah. And let's get that on here. Oh my goodness, it's changing the whole look of it, isn't it, guys? So I have to open it all the way up now. And I'm going to put my glue down and then just lay my lace on it and I'm trying really hard to have the lace be in the same place as it goes down so that the lace is going to show the wider lace at about the same spot. Okay, I think I did that. I made it even. Alright, and now we're going to trim. Okay, now we're going to be able to add our goodness gracious, everything's everywhere. We're going to be able to add this. I'm going to make sure that I'm right side up. I am. Okay, we're going to add right here. And I'm going to add this right there, just like that. I really, really think that's pretty on there like that. So, 
I'm going to put the 1864 in the middle of this label first. So I lay my label down like this. And then I'm going to put my glue on the longer label and then just kind of do the best I can to make it be straight. I just find it easier if I get it all together first and then I can put it on here. So now adding glue to all of it and seeing if I can't get it on here. Maybe something like that. Okay. Very cute. Very, very cute. Now, adding a few little pieces of bling right here at the bottom. Right there. Okay. Not all the way at the bottom, just something like that. Now, we're going to put our sorry silk on but we haven't put our we haven't put our our signature in here yet now of course i put a little lace in here i put a little bling but it's getting so very late for the video that oh good heavens it's over an hour so let's quickly pop in some paper and then we can put the sorry on and the dangle and we'll be done all right so i have my 8 by 11 inch, or 8 by 11 and a half, 8 by 11, 8 and a half by 11. I'm going to fold it the long way, like that, and then I'm going to bring in my little envelope journal, and I'm going to mark it and I'm going to mark it. I want these papers to be inside. I don't want it to be um, right at the edge. I want it to be inside of the journal itself. So I've marked that. Now I'm going to give it a cut. So I'm just going to cut it just like that. Now I've got one smaller than the other and that's okay. That's how it was in my example. And I'm going to, once again, put these in here. And I'm going to, see it's not going to, it needs to be cut down because it's um, it's too wide. So I'm going to just mark it here and here. And then we're going to, I think what I'll do is I'll put one inside the other. That's what we're going to do anyway. Bring in my little guillotine once again. I'm going to just trim it. Just like that. Got my marks. And I don't really want them to be on there. Just taking them off. I'm going to round my corners. So I moved that piece. Well, I didn't do a very good job. I moved it down, but then I missed it. So I might as well do them like this, rounding my corners. There. All right, so we've got that. I'm going to put the big one. So the big one's going to be in the middle. I've got the next size. And then I'm going to fold this piece. Remember, we cut that out. I'm going to fold it in half. I did go ahead and ink it up while I was finding the, the copy dyed papers. So this is going to be folded and it's going to go just like this. And that's going to be, but it's going to be on this side right here so that it lays flat in the center. I have already, I can find it, made my little sheet from the first journal and what this is is it is it's a strip it's about an inch wide and then you make it the size of your signature 
which this signature is longer. How can this signature be longer? Is it too long? Nope, we're going to have to make a new one anyway because that is too long, not long enough. This is my list for tomorrow, guys. Oh, okay, this is my sheet of paper of my list for what I have to do tomorrow. I'm just going to cut this so you don't see what I have to do tomorrow. <laughs> okay, there. Put my list of what to do tomorrow back up there. Now, we're going to cut this to be an inch. About an inch. Something like that. Then you're going to fold it in half. So it's the length of this. We're going to fold it in half the long way. We're going to fold it in half again. We're going to fold it in half again. Where the, page, the creases intersect, we're going to make a, a, a circle, a mark is what I was going to say, a mark. We're going to center this the way we want it. Make sure it's right side up because that piece of ephemera does have a right and the wrong side. I'm going to grab some paper clips. I'm going to paper clip this together here, guys. Just like this. Okay. I think I'm getting my second win. <laughs> no, you just, um, that's way too loose. You, uh, you keep going, you're tired, and you just keep going, and then all of a sudden you get your second win. <laughs> I think it's kicking in, guys. I think my second wind is kicking in. Okay, so then watch me have a hard time going to sleep, right? <laughs> All right, we've got that in there. Now we're going to have to put this in there. Our little, our little sheet in there. And I'll use a smaller one. We're going to put it in where we want it. Right here, our signature, right where we want it. Just like that. I'm going to paper clip it in. You don't want it to, you know, move around or fall apart or fall out on you. Fall apart. <laughs> okay. We've got a little piece of packing material. We have our awl. You're going to hold this fairly close. You're going to hold your awl straight up and down. I'm going to poke a hole all the way through. All the way through and you're poking your hole right where the marks are that you have made in your sheet. That way you don't have to measure your holes to be even. You get your sewing thread. One, two, three. I'm just marking how much I need. You never want to run out. Get your needle. Thread your needle with your material. Mine's book binding material. has a little bit of wax on it. Go in the center. Hold your little tail. You want a little bit of a tail. You want to go in one of the other holes that you've made. Then you want to go in all the way down to the other hole. Then you're going to go back through the center hole. Well, there we are, back through the center hole. You want to be on the opposite side of the center. You want one of the threads to be on one side of the center and one threads to be one of the threads to be on the other side always want to check to make sure that you're not caught on anything and you're going to just tie a knot. If you're using embroidery thread, you're going to want to keep your little journal open and put a little bit of white glue in the center. Keep it open till it dries because embroidery thread will work its way loose and then you'll have a wobbly signature. And we don't want a wobbly signature. All right, so now we have got our beautiful signature sewn in to our page. Mm, 
gorgeous and it's just so pretty beautiful beautiful all right so now we're going to put our closure on so we're going to grab some sorry silk all right so i have some sorry silk and this is from crimson heart studios i will leave her shop down below and i'm just going to tie my sorry silk into a bow just seeing exactly how much of this material isn't that a gorgeous color with that it's so beautiful now on the other side i'm going to open up my sorry silk like this because when we glue our our piece down to keep it in place because remember we glue this there. there there we go we glue this in place so that it's a permanent checking one more time is that how I want it it goes this way Kathy yeah okay just so it's not so bulky when we glue it down that's why I've straightened this out I don't want it to be super bulky I want it to be we've got this piece this is what we're going to glue on the back remember we got that ready earlier <laughs> like an hour ago no it wasn't that long ago but yeah it was a little bit ago Alrighty, so we're going to simply glue that on there just like that oh my goodness i'm checking one more time yeah that's going to be gorgeous so i am using my hot glue because i'm gluing right on top of my sari and i want it to make sure that it grabs a hold there we are isn't that beautiful on the back that's the back now dangle i've got a bulb pin i've got a few little gems here little bubbles we need to pick one of our papers and um i'm looking to see what we've got as some of our scraps where did our scraps go i think our scraps are down here Ooh, that's the same color though we don't want the same color it won't stand out Ooh, here we go now let's go ahead and uh do i want that seems a little busy doesn't it how about this i'm going to even though it's a pretty big piece i'm going to fold this like this and why I'm folding it is because I want this to be I don't want it to be super um, what's the word for it? strong but I don't want it to be flimsy either so there's this I think I actually want no we better take this let's just see how this looks how we like it we can always do another one. Shoot, we're this far into the video. <laughs> oh, that's going to be pretty. Now, I could take a smaller one. And since I'm gluing the smaller one directly on, I'm looking for, I'm gluing it directly onto this one. That'll be all right. All right, so I used the one inch, and I used, uh, I don't I think that's a half an inch. It doesn't have any marking on it. And I punched some circles out. We're going to make our own little dangle. Every single thing we've used here, except for the coffee dyed paper, has come out of the kit. It's so gorgeous. Oh, look, it's that color on the back. Well, that might be 
I didn't think I we would like that, but maybe I do like that. It stands out a little bit more, doesn't it? Okay, it's either that one or... Well, let's first glue these things together. So we got to glue the two big pieces together. So adding my glue. And then putting the two pieces together. Okay. Like that. And then... Do we want it this side, or do we want it this side? Well, that's kind of that's kind of cool. I kind of like that side. So I'm gonna glue the smaller circle onto the bigger circle like that. Okay, and then I'm getting my hole punch again. That's the wrong size. I'm getting the small one, the little tiny hole punch. And I'm going to punch this. Hopefully it will punch. Just glued it. Oh good, it did. I'm going to punch it. We've got a little bulb pin here. It happens to be, it's kind of a maroony color. I'm going to put my bubble on. I would like this pink one. It's very pale pink. Here's a ruby color bobble, and then our little piece right here. Now, we have some lace here. Okay, we used this lace. <laughs> I've got lace here. We used this lace. Do I have any extra? Yeah. We've got, we used that lace, and we used, um, I'm over here in this other dish trying to find the lace. Yeah, here it is. Guys, there's that lace. So we have those two laces. That's what we used. We don't need all that. We've already got it. And let's go ahead and put a little bit of lace on here like this. So I just doubled it up. And then I'm going to trim it off at an angle like that. And then I'm going to Put it on another piece of lace. This is the the light, the white lace. I'm going to shut the bulb pin. Maybe there. Okay. And then I'm going to glue the white lace on top. I'm going to use this to glue the white lace. So. I'm going to get my white lace, and of course I need some more hot glue. I need another glue stick. All right, you guys, so I've got my other glue stick. I'm just going to add, actually I think I'm going to add it right here. And then I'm going to glue this down just like this. Okay, pressing it down. And then I'm going to trim this off the top. I'm going to trim this a little shorter. And there's our little dangle on our book. You guys, if you have stuck with me, I think this is the longest video that I have made, but I do think it was well worth it. Now, we didn't decorate all of it inside, but you know, you get the idea. You've got the base down. I think these are precious, and I think the papers from Chapter 1 paper papers are absolutely gorgeous. If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. <laughs> Bye now.